Architecture, 40,000 to 1500 BC. The earliest humans lived in caves or any other natural shelter they could find. Eventually, people started making more comfortable homes and other buildings for themselves, including wood, mud, and stone. The first buildings were made uh, were tents of animal skin supported on wooden poles. In some places, they used mammoth bones to weigh the structure down. Mud brick houses. Around 6000 BC, people started building homes made of dried mud and wood. They covered the walls with fine plaster on which they painted decorations and pigments made from plants. The floors were bare or covered with straw or animal hides. Furniture, such as tables and beds, were also made from mud bricks. Roofing material. To keep out the weather, early people made roofs of wooden poles covered with twigs and leaves, straw or thick mats of soil known as sods. In hot climates, roofs were made flat to reflect the sun's rays, keeping the buildings cool. Houses in Jerusalem had flat roofs, each one with a parapet or a low wall to stop visitors falling over the edge. In temperate climates, roofs were made sloping so that rainwater would f run off quickly. Around 4000 BC, the Sumerians of Mesopotamia built their homes entirely from marsh reeds. They used several layers of reeds to create large curved roofs, but these roofs did not survive very long. They needed to be replaced every few years. Buildings with stone. Around 3000 BC, people in Europe, Egypt, and South America, and Middle East, and China started using stone as building material. At first, they used uncut stone, then as metal tools were developed, they cut and shaped the stone into large rectangular slabs. The blocks of stone were laid on one on top of the other. Flat or sloping roofs spanned the walls. Not all of these early buildings were built for people to live in. Some were made for religious purposes and others as tombs for the dead or shelters for farm animals. They included the pyramids and temples of Egypt and South America, the ziggurats of the Middle East, and monuments such as Stonehenge in Britain. Unlike those made from mud and wood, many stone buildings have survived to the present day.